because this is another planet. So let's yeah, let's check in an asteroid belt into the system, and a couple of deep space stations, and a refueling station, and a research base. There we go, Burton Six. All right. Um, so I don't need to put refueling stations everywhere. The refueling stations are non-planetary refueling stations. So they're refueling stations that you can go to without visiting a planet. Uh, okay, so Sean, Sean, and that is uh, 0610. And then the other planet in the same system was Argiast. And Argiast, I think I'm gonna give. I think I'm gonna give it to. This is like the this is like crime system down here. But let's um, let's not cluster them too hard. I'm not gonna give anybody this one. We're just gonna leave it as it is. Okay. So what's in this? You so cyclical doom and secret masters. Okay, that's better. Um, Pujaya Nita. Uh, Pavis Unan. Iglitza, Lameda, like there's just like so many different places. Okay, so all of these have factions on them. So these are all factiony. These are factiony. I just want the faction stuff to be like close. So let's maybe leave these three and we'll put the Deathless some other place. Wow, the Lameda system has nothing in it. Get out of here. It's a star with nothing. Uh, okay, all right. So let's let's travel up here let's still jam because we really just have the deathless the red dogs prism and the trillion ring to do shit with so altered humanity pleasure world Ooh, ooh! i'm gonna move them and this is gonna be where trilly uh where where the fucking trillion ring lives so trillion ring hello welcome to planet nuja um Obviously, they're fucking hot cyborgs. We know this. All right, TL5. Uh, Nuja is a uh, airless or thin atmosphere, so I'm going to give them fucking stately pleasure domes. Um, so floating, because what's more fucking trail int than, uh, than flying cities? It's beautiful. All right, so it's an airless or thin atmosphere. Uh, it is a... a frozen planet they don't actually live on the planet um the biosphere is engineered and it has fewer than a million inhabitants home to the trillion ring okay and i think that's probably it in this in this sex bespin <laughs> so yeah altered humanity Flying cities. Uh, also, they would rename, they'd rebrand the planet. It's Trillia. Trillia 4. No, wait. Trillia 69. Trillia 9. Uh, there you go. Welcome to Trillia. Uh, all right. So that's cool. Um,. And then, let's see. There we go. Okay, Trillion Ring, they're in Trillia, uh, 0209. 0209. Like, you can't even live on the world. We just They just built all these floating things, and it's in the Igliza system, which sounds a lot like Ibiza, which is pretty great. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, and then we need the Deathless and the Red Dogs and Prism. And then I've got a couple of general planets I want to make sure I have. So Pavis has three systems, a post-scarcity robot world, a Psionics Academy and a Gold Rush on Mona, and Alien Ruins. There was a Thordis in this one, so I need to edit this one. Planet Anton. Helga Gerg. Pomplemousse. Value. <laughs> Valois. There we go. That's better. 
Okay, um, so this system's fine. Uh, there's a research base called Tarsus floating around doing nothing in this system. So let's just chuck some more shit in here. Let's fucking huck a couple of planets. There you go. Catricots. Mm, apricots. Uh, okay. And then... Let's put... the. Let's find a planet. Let's find a planet for the Deathless. How about... Thora. Um, obviously, I need to rename it. So... Cliché. It has an invasive, toxic atmosphere. It is a hot planet. No, it's it's a temperate planet. It's got a bunch of different places. Uh, it is inimmissible. It has hundreds of millions of people. It is tech level four. Uh, what do these tags mean? Let's see. Outpost world. Only a tiny outpost of human habitation planted by an off-world corporation or government. Perhaps the staff is there to serve as refueling or repair stops. Yeah, I think we're going to make this one like not a lot of, again, kind of like before, not a lot of people live here. Um, and I think that's what we'll, that's what we'll do. Um, what's de is death world a thing? No, there's no death world tag. Um, so it's an outpost world and it's a trade hub because people come here to do deals all the time. Um, it's got a couple of moons because I love moons. There's already some stuff in this system. I like it. Okay, cool. Koshe in the Ragnil system. So Koshe is zero, 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 four. Koshe, zero, 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 four. All right. Um, let me, let me take a look at nearby. I think this planet's going to be related. This is going to be the planet where the Deathless train, this is the Deathless like training planet, uh, called Thorg. <laughs> Fuck yes. Planet Thorg. Uh, planet Thorg is a quarantined world and it is a feral world. Uh, hold on. And it's a battleground. Um, but let me see. So... Somebody was saying that there's another tag for mercenaries that might be better than that. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. Mercenaries. Oh, there's one. Okay, so mercenaries is either famous for its mercenary bands. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's much better. Um, okay, so on planet Thorg, where we train our warriors, uh, it's a TL2 planet that is an outpost with uh, a immiscible... Uh, biosphere. Uh, I think that it is a temperate world. There's lots of different places to fight things, and it's got a breathable mix. And there's a research base floating around it called Sakai One. Um, yeah, feral worlds, decadent nobles, mad cultists, cannibal chiefs. It's TL2, so it's like medieval. Uh, and it's a quarantined world. The, there's, it's an imperial quarantine world, but the Deathless are like. Pfft, Fuck the Imperial Quarantine. We're going to go down here and fight. So I think it has, like, warlords uh, who are, like, put in place. Oh, yeah, this is a hell planet for sure. Yeah, warlords. There we go. Cool. <laughs> TL2 is it? Yeah, industrial. That's right. Yeah. So it's there's some guns and stuff. TL1 is medieval. Cool. Okay, that's good. It used to be TL4, but then you knocked it back by something bad. Uh, yeah, and so you go there, and, and it's like, no one wants to live there. I'm actually going to move it to the other side. There we go. Uh, and it sounds too much like a Dragon Ball Z character. I'm just changing the name. Faylist. This world is the Faylist. Okay, great. Um, so the red dogs, let's give them uh, a home world here. No, you need some planets. Typhus. Uh no, we're TL we're TL three. Um Fazizad with Echo Planet Echo. That's kinda cool. Um Let's do Let's let's give this system, let's give this planet to the red the red dogs. The red dogs are everywhere, but this is where their like home world is. So Homeworld is obviously Planet DMX. 
Uh, no, it's not. I need a, a name. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna give it a like a Mandarin or, or Cantonese, is like a Chinese name. Um, so I need like I'm gonna call it like Red something. Red Pass. Yeah, Guan is cool. I like that. Uh, okay, so what's red in Chinese? Red in Chinese. Uh, Hong. Okay, Hong. Hong Guan. I like it. All right, Hong Guan. Yeah, which Chinese? Yeah, I, I, I got the simplified pidgin Chinese, not the traditional Chinese. Uh... Hongguan, yeah. Uh, is that does that make sense? Like, is there anyone in the in the the audience that like? Did that make sense? If if there's a better way to say, uh, red pass in uh in in any variation of Chinese, please let me let me know. Um. Okay, so, like literally, like referring to a place as like red pass. Uh, also, did I not save that? No, I didn't. Hong Lu means red road. Okay, that's good too. I like that. That's better. Hong Lu, red road. That's good. I like it. Okay, so uh, Hong Lu is... Thank you. Yeah. See, this is why we ask. Because I only speak English. <laughs> and like, Choto, Japanese. Uh, all right. So this planet, I think, has a thick atmosphere. It's a warm planet. And I think it has, I think it's like a Badlands world, but it's also like a trade hub. And it's also, it's not TL2, it's TL4. Uh, and it's also like cheap life. Living that cheap life with your Badlands thick atmosphere. Um, billions of people live here. And you've killed off the native biosphere. I think they've all just died. Uh, check another mine or two. The moon, let's rename it. How do you say white? Uh, what's what's the word for white in Chinese? That whatever whatever iteration of Chinese that I'm using for for Hong Lu, um, and yeah, maybe actually maybe criminal syndicates would be better than than that one. Bite. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then, so this is home to 14 red dogs. And yeah, I think actually that makes more sense to give it, um, what is it called? Like criminal? What's slavery like in this world? It's illegal. We don't enslave humans. That's why we made the synths. I mean, <laughs> technically it's illegal, but like it's illegal in this world too. Uh, okay. All right. That's good. Um, so that is red dogs. They live on, oh my God. They did not save. Oh God. My sector saved, but I didn't, I didn't save that. Okay. Let me do it again. It's going to take me forever to do this shit. Because I keep fucking it up. Okay. Um, it was this planet. And it was... What did I call it? The moon was bite. Uh, what was the name of the planet? I'm going to fix the moon. So... Hong Lu. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Hong Lu. Okay. Sorry. It was a thick atmosphere. 
It was the variable temperature to warm, maybe? I don't know. We'll do it this way now. Uh, no native biosphere. Billions of people. Tech level four. Home to the red dogs triad. Uh, and it had... What did we say? Secret masters, I think. And cheap life. And... And I had Badlands, but I, I want to get rid of that one. So trade trade hub maybe. There you go. Okay, that's that's fine. This is good. I'm gonna hit the save button now. Here I go. Beep. Okay, good. Okay. Um. So that is Homeworld Honglu, and that Honglu is uh in the Unalis system. Uh, Unalis system. Honglu. Zero one zero one. Okay. Um, so now uh, we need prism, and that's it. Where did I put triangulum? Triangulum's over here somewhere, right? Yeah, Lovelace. I just didn't make a note. So Lovelace. O two o five. Okay, there they are. Uh, yeah, and then I'll do a couple of, like, other little planets. Um, so, Prism. Yeah, I think Planet Echo is, is Prism's homeworld. Um, because they're clustered up with some of these other folks. Uh, okay. And I need a better name for their system so let's just grab one idea alvero cress mas skakis polyphon bene amtiku arape that's pretty good okay um so uh planet echo We'll give it um, a breathable mix, but a cold atmosphere. The variable cold to temperate, yeah. Um, yeah, if you join, you can join the. Just as a side question, you can join the Patreon at any time and join a faction at any time. So if you're if you're already in, cool. And if not, you can you can get in. You can you can jump in. So uh, I don't think I think it maybe has engineered life. Hundreds of millions of people home to the Prism Network. Um, there may be other stars to discover uh, that we can add to the thing. Otherwise, house 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 Pixis wouldn't have anything to do. So yeah, I mean maybe maybe during the session I'll be like Pixis, you discover something in space. Um. But yeah, okay. Let's let's give them let's give them some tags. Uh, so there was a uh, let's see. There's what can I do about? Is there like a? Battlegrounds? What haven't we used yet? Cultural power. They're they're prism. <laughs> um. <laughs> They're not a hive mind, no. Mm. Gold Rush? What does Gold Rush do? Gold Rush is like people rushing there. Oh, like actual, it's a literal Gold Rush. <laughs> okay, no. Um, We could just do something like weird too. Local specialty. Media. What is a Mandarinate? A Mandarinate is intellectual elite. Uh, yeah, fucking totally. Personality tests. Myers Briggs runs this planet. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> there are cultural power in a Mandarinate, and you have to be like savvy. You have to have enough Twitter followers to be allowed into the government of this planet. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so good. And then, yeah, there are, there's Megacorp as well. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. I like it. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make our note here that um, they are a Megacorp. Perfect. Your Panopticon Matrix isn't a tag. It's an item. So Prism would have to have to buy it. Uh, all right, so that's Prism, and Prism lives at 0202 Echo. Echo. 0202. Okay. Um, and then, oh my God, Zendare. I like it. I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna add in some planets. Zendare. Um, okay, so now what I need, now what I need is just to throw in a couple for me, because I know that I'm going to want a prison and a pleasure. So let's do, let's do, uh, and I need to put the guild somewhere. So the guild, we're going to make them like out kind of in the middle of nowhere right now and they can move their shit. But for right now, we're going to put them right here, I think. Uh, system with no planets. The guild. Oh, caps. The guild Dyson Sphere. Okay. And this is not where they, that's not where they should go. And the system name Guild HQ. Okay. So. This base here, the guild's Dyson Sphere. Um, I can't, there we go, occupation home to the superhuman guild. <laughs> guild hall, exactly, yeah. Can I not, oh, that's a search. Okay, dangerously odd humans and uh, vault for dangerous pre-tech. Okay, that, that's fine, that's close enough. Home to the guild, post-human weirdo Infomorphs. Do not go here. Uh, however, <laughs> however, there's also there's also a triangulum uh, station in this system. So research base optic one uh, and optic one is a. Uh, Secret employers of a foreign power, sort of. Uh, perilous research underway. Triangulum researchers obsessed with the guild. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Just hang out like, uh, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm gonna move this black hole. SQA 06798. Um, I think I think that probably our prison planet, I want like, um, yeah, I think I want, I want the prison planet somewhere where we can get to it is the thing. Um, so let's, cause you can't like, if, I guess if you could ship, you can ship people there like kind of one way. All right, fuck it. We'll put this prison planet off in the, in the corner. Oh, nine, one, one. Uh, what's in the opposite corner? That needs a planet, obviously. I don't like I don't like spaces with no planets. Stilacco. Okay. Um prison planet. Let's put the prison planet. <laughs> the police sector. Perfect. <laughs> um Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. What should we call it? Okay. This is the Jelva system. Uh, uh, okay. And it needs a planet. All right. Imperial. Corrections 
Facility Alpha. Now I want to I want to call it something else. Imperial Corrections Facility, not Carceri, because that's like. Something like that, though. Facility Thule. The Maze. Yeah, I mean, it would have another name. Yeah, right? Like, Tartarus and Gehenna and Purgatory all seem like... Field Corrections Facility. I'm just going to give it a, a like a, a designation. Oh, Gleipnir. That's good. Okay, thank you. Because it's the chain that bound the wolf. Yeah. That's really good. I like that. Thank you. Um, okay. And it's got, actually, it's got a refueling station. Um, Gleipnir. It's known also as like the maze or like whatever. You can call it whatever you want. Um, so this is a prison planet. And it's also, let's see, something else like cool and bad about it. freak weather or like heavy industry yeah heavy industry prison planet that makes sense yeah Gleip Gleipnir no um Sleipnir is the horse Sleipnir was the horse Gleipnir is the is the the binding chains <laughs> no not zombies <laughs> no that's good I think this is good heavy industry prison prison planet oh, we already have a tomb world um we'll look through the whole look through the whole list um okay so the atmosphere is corrosive it is a burning world with no native biosphere or maybe engineered biosphere. That's fun. Um, population is billions, billions of prisoners on this planet. Um, the planet itself is like, it's like TL3, but like also there are people who have TL4 stuff here. Uh, an imperial prison world. Where all the baddies go when they're bad. Unless we murder them. But free labor. Okay. Can you do three plus? No, you can't. But it is like sort of three plus, yeah. Heavy industry players in the planet. Uh, who feeds them? Acre. They, they eat acre food. Um, yes, and it, it's absolutely like a recruiting ground for uh house vagrant or for the upc tons of red dogs in there yeah 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 okay so we got the guild we got a prison world um i want to have a neutral like pleasure planet somewhere out in the middle of the middle of nowhere um uh oh i want to call this one um Let's see. Let's find a good name for this. Okay, so we're going to call this the Osun system. So that's the Osun system. Um, decadent pleasure world. I like that, Dave. Littered with cast off guild facilities and objet de fuck. <laughs> like this is this is the like really weird planet where you go to like. This is the this is the imperial like secret pleasure hideaway, um, and then the planet uh, the planet in the system is called Yemoja. Uh, it's like a fertility. Uh, let's call the planet <laughs> Frig, comma, like the Kama Sutra. Fetish world. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Why is there a pleasure world? Why not? Because the guild went there during their like weird sex toy phase and then they left. And so they just people go there and are like, hey, what kind of cool stuff we got going on here? <laughs> yeah. What do we do with this object? I don't know. Put your dick in it. 
Uh, okay, cool. Welcome to Kinksville. Um, and we're going to call the refueling station... Uh, uh, last stop. Okay. <laughs> Did the tags not switch on comma? No, they didn't. Okay, let's let's fix them. So it is a uh, pleasure planet, and it has a what a secret. What was the one secret masters? No, the the like danger thing that's left. Uh, I'll call it alien ruins, and what was it? It was like. Local tech. Sealed Menace. That's the one. Uh, oh, no. Let's make it a Night World. That's cool. Yeah. There we go. Good. Sold. It doesn't... It, sealed, menace is, sealed Menace is different. <laughs> Kink's Cross Station. Right, like in London. I get it. Okay, cool. So, you, you know, you want to take your... You want to take your leave on Osun. Because you can... I heard you could fuck an alien whale. That sounds hot, right? You don't even know. <laughs> okay cool night world um so that's that's it for all the worlds i wanted to build let's let's see what else we got like some other stuff that we can kind of like we'll be able to visit right so we've got like uh revolutionaries post-scarcity planet a quarantine world tomb world bora uh soliquan which is a better name than soliquan soliquan uh, which is uh, Planet Ergus, a preceptor archive with tyranny. Um, we got an out of contact bubble city. City. We got Area Fifty One and some Cold Wars. There's the facility. Five meat seven is a quarantine with forbidden tech. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Planet Raekwon. Yeah, I'm gonna move this black hole because black holes are fun to have nearby. There we go. That's better. Um. Urbanized zombie planet. Why not? And then way out here is Bergen with anthropomorphs, shackled world, bubble city, major space yard. Interesting that there's this, like, I feel like this is maybe where some alien shit happens. I kind of feel like maybe that's a thing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I kind of want to plan it with cyber communism though. So I'm just going to throw that in. And also where did we say, where did we say that the, the, the UPCR, Yakia 0407. Okay. I want to give them something to like lust after. So down here, some potential allies for the UPC. I, I plan it that um, they do their own thing. So how do I add another? There we go. Uh, system. Let's see. Okay, and this system is going to be called Panago. Let's see. Lycos, Falman, Syme, Majaha, Magalka, Quele, Dukimos. There's a lot of repeats, hey, in this. Um,. Salatov. Kalatov? Molotov. Molotov. <laughs> hmm. Let's call it... Halesco. That's good. Let's call it that. That was just me making some shit up. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a planet, and the planet is going to be called... Uh... Berkman three and these guys Berkman three they are in they're an independent system uh from the rest of the empire they they like are mostly overlooked um and because there's not very many of them and I think also because there's like they mix with aliens um okay and then Warm hybrid. It's called 
fewer than a million inhabitants. TL4. Um, a colony of non-imperial settlers who somehow avoid avoided being subsumed by the empire okay that's cool um and then these guys are keep to their own and they are let's see no they're not colonizers it's like well a colony like of humans into space from a long time ago um yeah is there like Something good. Great work. Planet of weird semi-alien sociologists. There we go. Um, and then I want to change... I just want to change something so that I make sure I end up with... Here we go. Let's go post-scarcity cyber communists. <laughs> Here we go. Do we have a world for Cygnus? Yeah. There you go. So these guys are cyber communists. Post scarcity cyber communists. TL4. And they're burning toxic world. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure I had a few, like a mix of of stuff. Uh okay. So um let's go. Let's go look real quick. We now have 46 planets to discover and run around on. That's cool. Uh that's exciting. Look at them all. Um, there are four tech level five planets, Imperial Prime, Trillia, Lovelace, and uh, Aldost. So, hey, if you need, if you need tech level five stuff, here's Bergen. Go get it. It's currently got anthropomorphs and it's a shackled world. Uh, oh, 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 seven still has the Dragon Ball name. It didn't save. Okay. Thank you. Catricots. Your new name is Hallway. That's fine. Okay. Uh cool. Um and then for low tech level planets, we've got and I'll let you I'll let you look through this yourselves, obviously. Um two planets with no tech level at all. And then two level one a bunch of level two, which is nice. Very few level three. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. Good, Acheron Row. There she is. We did it. Um, cool. Okay, I have one more thing that I need to do. Uh, give me one second to change my overlay here. One more thing to do before we go, and that is, uh, I want to give you some homework. Let's chat, my faction friends. Boop. Uh, I'm going to assign your your force, your cunning, and your wealth. Uh, and you're going to need to figure out what assets you have. Um, you are allowed to buy assets on your home world. The Imperial Houses are allowed to buy assets on the Imperial Prime home world. Uh, your faction will have to decide what you buy and where it goes. The house is minor. You can build shit on any planet that the house minor owns. Any of them. So all those planets I described are places, and you don't have to, they don't belong, your individual assets do not belong to each individual person. So you're going to have to, listen, if you can't get your shit together as a group to agree on what assets you want and where you'll never survive the faction turn. So let's go through and review. All right. So house crooks. 
Listen, it's not my problem. If you're having a hard time organizing it, I believe in you. You can do it. You're going to have loads of time. Like, like up to six weeks for this. And if you can't do it in six weeks, it's the whole thing's messed up anyway. So I trust you. I'm putting this power in your hands. All right? So, uh, here we go. Um, yeah, the high church can buy on, on Imperial Prime too, if you want to. Technically, they all, you're all like co co-founders of that, of that world. Um, okay. So, so yeah, six weeks is a lot of time. Okay. So house crux is planet Hyra. Make sure I don't screw this up. So 06, 05. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link, um, I'll link the variation of this sheet that you can look at. Uh, all of the assets are in the book. Um, and that's how that's gonna go. Uh, I don't. I don't want to do tags now. I'll think about them. We'll do. We'll do tags uh, the next time that we do. Uh, we do one of these these sessions. Okay. All right. So Hyra O six O five. Uh, Fornax is Maya O five O five. Vela is Hakani O six O six. Uh, the UPC you can buy anywhere that no one else has an asset on and that isn't no that's and that's fine anywhere that is oh yeah that's right it's Maj Maya with a J right thank you um yeah you can buy anywhere that doesn't have an existing an, an existing asset uh house vagrant no you know you, you know you can't um okay Hakani 0605 uh, 0606 uh Diomikato 0506. Uh, oh no, the house's minor <laughs> varies. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, let's see. I can skip all of them down to house vagrant, which we put on Sean oh six ten. Okay. Um. And then six ten. Uh, the red dogs. Uh, Hong Lu. H. Yeah, Hong Lu. O one o one. Hong Lu. O one o one for the red dogs triad. Okay. Koche. Uh, uh, zero 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 four for the deathless. There, just to make sure we know what's going on. There we go. Okay, Koshe is uh zero 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 four, I believe. Okay. Um and Dofiel for the church O three oh six. Okay. Uh, Cabina for the Church of Humanity, 0509. Okay. Um, Echo, 0202 for Prism. Uh, Prism Network. Yeah, that was... Oh, sorry. That was... Did I mess that up? No, I got it. Okay. Uh, the UPC, your homeworld is Yakia. 0407 acre it's Demnoff 0407 and then the trillion ring is Trillia 0209 0209 Okay, um, so you're going to be able to buy assets. I'll tell you how many you have. You can buy assets on planets that you have a base of influence. Or on, honestly, I think you can buy bases of... Uh, you know what? Here, let's, let's just make this the rule. This is the easiest thing. You can buy an asset on any planet that doesn't have another faction on it. 
period. Just to represent like you're out in the world. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I don't, I don't really care otherwise. You're allowed to have, you're all powerful, you're all factions. As long as no one is saying aggressively like no, which is to say no one else owns that planet, because those would be planets you all have a base of influence on. So UPC, you can buy anywhere that isn't an Imperial or another faction's planet. You just can't start with factions on the same planet as somebody else. Okay, that sound fair? Nice and easy to remember. Um, Um, as far as the UBC goes, don't, don't worry. Um, technically you exist. No, Yakia is not, a Acre does not own that planet. That is not your home world. Okay. It belongs to someone else. You can't do it. Acre cannot build on Yakia. period. End of story. Don't ask me again. <laughs> uh, if you need me to clarify stuff that's beyond what I just told you, then, then we can do that, uh, later. Um, but next, I think next week we'll do a check-in and I will, I will let you, I will let you like ask me questions and we'll do stuff like that. Um, cool. Okay. Yeah. Obviously you'll have access to the sector map. So let's talk about, let's talk about stuff. Let's talk about how these, yes, you can take over neutral planets. That's, that's sort of the point. Um, I put UPC in the same sector as Acre. There won't be a faction long enough to matter. That's 100% not like my problem. <laughs> you have to work with them. You have to tell them, please don't destroy us. Also, like we'll talk about you being stealthed, perhaps. Just chill. Let me finish my turn. I told you at the beginning of the session. Trust me. Okay. All right. So... The uh the first thing that we need to do is figure out what everybody gets. Um so I wrote down there is basically two two tiers of faction. There are the tier 1 factions and there's everyone else. So the tier 1 faction the tier 1 faction is 8 6 supposed to be 8 no 8 7 so it'll be eight seven five, I think. Let me take a quick look. Let me get out my rule book here. So the top tier factions, these are the biggest ones. These guys are supposed to be eight. I think eight seven five is the is the jam. Um, okay. Thank God for, for bookmarked PDFs. Factions, here we go. Okay, so factions in my campaign. All right, the big ones are supposed to be eight, then one less than their primary, then three less. Yeah, so, okay, so it's supposed to be eight, seven, five. I'm actually gonna do these as eight, some of these a, a little differently, um, but they, they'll end up with the same amount of like points. So eight, seven, five. Okay, so these three are Acre, the Houses Minor, and the high church. These are the three biggest in the in the sector. So uh, Acre, obviously your uh, wealth is your highest uh, at eight. Your force is next at seven, and your cunning is five. So there you go, Acre. You got shit tons of money. You're all over the place. You got lots of money. Okay. Um, you're not very smart, but you're still smarter than a lot of people. Okay. So that's acre. Um, so the houses minor council, uh, because they are made up of such a broad, uh, a broad group, I think I'm going to go. Oh yeah. Acres absolutely tier one. They're huge. Um, they're everywhere. They feed the universe. Oh yeah. I changed your mind about how cool acre is. Are you? Uh, okay, so eight, seven, five means I have, what, 20 points? Okay, now since they're so chaotic and they're so all over the place, I'm just going to give them sevens across the board. The houses minor are a big deal. I'm trying to help you. That's how it goes. <laughs> um, also, like, you're going to have a hard time, like, fighting with other people, but your stats are all real good. So there's the houses minor. Good luck. Um, okay. 
So, um, the other one is the church, right? The church was the other, the high church. Okay. So eight, seven, five for the high church is, uh, seven force, eight cunning. No, wait, five force. There we go. Five, eight, seven. Okay. So there is our, there is our, our three tier one factions. Everyone else. Everyone else in the universe is 653. I was going to make some small ones, but I thought that probably would be a bummer and not fair. And it's fun to have more toys to play with. So I want you all to be really powerful. So six plus five plus three. So yeah, 653. Okay. So that's for all the other factions. So let's go down and, and we'll do them. So Crux, obviously, six, five. Uh, they spent a lot, a lot, a lot of money fighting this war against the Cygnus. Uh, Fornax is six, three, five, like that. Five, three, six, like that. Okay. Okay. How's Vela? Obviously, six is cunning. Force is three, five in well. So you're all, all the spread for the major houses. Um, House Vagrant, you are poor as fuck, cunning, not very forceful. Five, six, three. Red Dogs, same thing, cunning, not very forceful, wealthy. The Deathless, forceful, not very cunning, but you have money. Uh, Church of Humanity Repentant, Forceful 3, Cunning 6, Wealth 5, Prism Network 6, Wealth, obviously, uh, 5 Wealth 6, Cunning, Force 3, UPC, mm, Cunning 6, 5, 3 Wealth, Trillion 6 for sure, 5, and then 3 Force. So yeah, not like... Like huge. Um, and that's that's what you got. Those are your stats. Um, I think we've got time to we've got time to like <laughs> the guild. The guild has like an infinity number in every single one. It's they're, they're above and beyond stats. Um, let's maybe let's maybe tag you because that'll that'll give you some ideas about what what you're gonna do. Um, so your tags. So this is true of all of the major houses. Yeah, tags are important. Yeah. So this is true of all of the houses, major and minor. You will count as the planetary government. I'm not going to tag planetary government for everything. All the houses minor are planetary government of the houses that is their home base, of the, of the base. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a lot of force in the sector, right? Crux, the minor houses, Acre. Yeah. Okay. So um, everyone is the planetary government of, of their planet if they're a noble house. Technically, no one else is allowed to be the government. That's it. Like, you don't – legally, you cannot be a government if you are not a noble house. Period. Everybody gets one tag otherwise. Um, so House Crux – uh, let me read. You want me to read the tags? Should I? Should I do that? Um, okay. So, let me read to you an example of the tags. So, faction tags. Pull up the list here. Colonists, a fresh colony on an otherwise largely untouched planet, a brave band of pioneers that will tame the wild forces and bring forth a better life for those who come after. No one is this, I don't think. Um, deep rooted. The faction has been part of the world's life for time out of mind. Most natives can hardly imagine the world without the native the faction's presence, and the traditional prerogatives and dignities of the group are instinctively respected. Um, non nobles can seize a planet, but they don't start with them. Okay? So like 
if the UPC wanted to like do the thing where they seize control of a planet, they definitely can, but that has to happen in game. Uh, anyway, I got to continue. All right. Eugenics cult, uh, forbidden Maltech, uh, slave engineered humanoids, deathless leadership. Um, the, the, the houses minor, like even some of these will fit for the, the minor houses on their own. And if they split, we will give them additional stuff. Um, but, but that's, that's not for now. For now, the houses minor are all, they all share one. I think it's going to be Machiavellian. Um, okay. So anyway, deep rooted gives you an additional D10 when you defend against attacks on your home world. Um, exchange consulate means when you successfully complete peaceable kingdoms, um, you uh you can roll a d6 and get additional ex uh, experience points um the sort of like pacifistic society of bankers and diplomats uh fanatical you don't know when to quit whenever a die comes up one you re-roll it but you always lose ties during attacks um imperialists uh roll an extra d10 for attacks made as part of a seize planet action uh, machiavellian the faction re-rolls an additional d10 when making a cunning attack so the houses minor almost by by definition have to be Machiavellian. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, mercenary group, the Deathless. Hi guys. There's no other like no other option. Um, perimeter agency. This is like good for blowing up high tech stuff. I don't think that. Uh, pirates. Hello, House Vagrant. Some of these are just narratively, like they have to fit. Um, planetary government we talked about, plutocratic. So they value wealth. Membership strives to constantly expand and maintain personal fortunes. So that's an option. Um, preceptor archive. So buying TL4 or more stuff is cheaper. Uh, Psychic Academy, which again, if, if serpents split off. Uh, Savage, proud tribe of neo-primitives struggling against material limits. Scavengers secretive this faction is marked by an elaborate protocol of secrecy and misdirection it may be split up into numerous semi-autonomous cells like this is so obviously the upc Boop. okay um theocratic uh extra d10 when defending against cunning i'm like yo what's up you're both theocrats okay uh warlike Factions with a military orientation, and then factions that just really love killing things. All right, so let's go. Let's go through these. Um, so we need House Crux, Fornax, and Vela need something. So Crux, I think, based on kind of what I'm what I'm thinking about them, is they're imperialists, right? These are the like we want to seize more territory, we want to be bigger and more powerful. House Fornax technical expertise right house vela i think i almost want to give them something like that too like a preceptor archive yeah we talked about that their homeworld has one yeah preceptor archive Boop. okay uh the 14 red dogs triad uh warlike are they forceful do they have force no they don't Right, they're not fighters, they're sneaky. So maybe secretive as well, or fanatical. They just don't know when to quit, no matter how overmatched. Or deep-rooted to defend attacks against their home world. No, I think, they're, I think they're secretive too. I think that's an advantage they have as well. Uh, okay, the PRISM network. The PRISM network. They've got money. Mm, Trilliant is the exchange consulate, I think. These guys... Here, let's take a look at the list. Machiavellian? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good call. Or plutocratic. No, that's... Okay. So, hold on. The Trillion ring is the plutocrats. I can't... Oh, but... Mm, Acre might be plutocratic, too. Because plutocratic is expanding personal fortunes. No, okay. So these guys are plutocrats for sure. Uh, Trillion ring is the 
defending against uh, attacks. So that's these guys. That's Exchange Consulate. And then the Prism Network is Exchange Consulate. Yeah, because they, they have to access all the, the communications uh, vectors. So, yeah. Um, they're not... Prism's not secretive. No way. Not at all. Prism's way out there. Their shit is just, like, laid out. They collect data, and they sell it, and they they monitor people, but they're not secretive about it. No, they're they're totally, like, they're totally um, uh, exchange consulate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. I'll let you choose your own goals. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to assign that to you. Um, you can choose your own. Choose your own as you go. Oh, yeah, we talked about Trillion being a eugenics cult, didn't we? Nah, slave engineered humanoids. I think that's pushing it too far. Okay. Um, tech expertise. Well, let me check tech expertise again. Because I want it. Is technical expertise not the one that, like, gives you free? Oh, no. This allows you to build outside your home world. And you can build starships on any world. Guy, it feels, it feels like it fits. I mean, I guess you'll just have to take over other planets, Fornax. Because I don't like any of these other ones for you. Except, like, deep-rooted. Um, but that's not... I mean, maybe... Nah, preceptor archive. We already have one of those, and it's already in the. It's already in the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it with technical expertise. It makes more sense. Okay. Uh, cool. So this is where you sit. This is obviously very important data. As soon as the stream is done, I will post a link to this and to the sector map. Yeah, God help that sector map website if if you all try to check it at once. But ugh, try not to, to to all crash it together. Uh, we'll we'll make that available for you uh, as uh, as soon. Um, oh right, so your budget, your budget. Um, if you are Acre Corporation, okay. If you're the Acre Corporation, if you are the High Church of Messiah as Emperor, or if you are the Houses Minor, you get eight assets, four that are in your main stat, and four of anything else. Right, two and two, three and one, whatever. Um, read the rules. If you break, if you try to, if you submit orders to me and you break the rules, I, I, you just won't get that asset. I'm gonna be very like aggressive about this. So if you're like, I want to buy this, and I'm like, you can't. I may not have time to warn you, so triple check that shit. Um, for the houses minor, split it however you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get eight wherever you want. Just put them wherever you want. I don't care. How's the minor? You break all the rules. Okay. Everybody else, you get three and three. Three assets in your best thing, three elsewhere. Okay. Okay. That is it for today's session. Uh, thank you so, so much for coming, everybody. Uh, this is so exciting for me, and I cannot wait until we begin our adventures in space. Uh, we are going to uh, we're going to have our session zero with the cast real soon, so that'll be up on the Patreon. If you want to get involved in in any of this, you want to have a character. All it requires is a one one dollar buy-in to Patreon.com/slash/roleplay. Go there, buy at any level. The three dollar level will get you extra bonus videos for the campaign. The one dollar level will get you a ticket, and in you go. Uh, it will get you an invite to the Discord server. As I said at the beginning. If you missed out or you're like, what in the hell is Adam talking about? Look on my YouTube channel. Go to the Stars Without Number uh, playlist. There's a playlist there letting all, letting all the rules out. It, it walks you through all of the stages, all the different stuff you need to do to connect your, your account, to get on the Discord server, to jump into a faction. And when you get in your faction, get ready because hang on to your butts. There's all kinds of really cool stuff already going on. Um... Thank you, everybody, who who subscribed uh, to the channel so they could watch this VOD. Um, if you can't subscribe and you missed any of it, uh, you are probably watching this on YouTube. Uh, but it'll come out later. So in about a week, this will be available on YouTube. Uh, I hope that you'll choose to subscribe to my channel. But if not, that's okay. I don't want to leave you out. That's available there. So have fun. 
figure out your stuff. I'll post in the Discord the exact date and time I need your final purchase orders for all of your faction equipment. And we will see you in a couple of days for the video with the cast. And you'll get to figure out what faction they belong to. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.